Plans to build an eco-resort at Taronga Zoo have been dubbed as nothing more than a bid to attract wealthy visitors to Sydney. The application would see a 62-bed hotel built on site, but locals and some zookeepers say it will turn Taronga into an Australian Disneyland. When it comes to an uproar over development, Taronga Zoo can put the roar into uproar. The century-old Sydney institution is under fire over plans for a $45 million wildlife retreat within the zoo from both Mossman Council and its own zookeepers. They're very upset by it and I, I think it's fair to say that, that, you know, again, a lot of that land was bequeathed to the government, again, for uh, wildlife conservation. The plan involves building what are described as five pods ranging between two and four storeys in height able to accommodate more than 60 people overnight, each with a stunning harbour view, along with the vistas of native fauna. Mossman Council began flagging its concerns about the development in mid last year, saying that it believed the proposed resort would largely be unaffordable for most Sydney siders. The council says it believes the retreat would be priced for people wanting a high-end stay close to the city with views of the harbour and also argues whether the development was an appropriate use of public land. We have been open to consultation throughout this project. We'll listen to those concerns and we'll aim to address them. The plan now lies in the hands of the Department of Planning and Environment, who will adjudicate on the suitability of the project within the next month. But in the interim, the Zookeepers Union says they intend to pursue their concerns very little link between wildlife conservation and accommodation. The price hasn't been determined yet. We're comparing it to an average night out in Sydney. Mike Dalton, Nine News.